Jury finds Nikolai Mew guilty of first degree reckless homicide as submitted. A two year legal odyssey is about to come to a close. Tomorrow, a Western Wisconsin judge will sentence Nikolai Mew for the homicide of Isaac Schumann and the stabbing of several others while tubing on the Apple River. It's a case continuing to garner national headlines because of Mew's claims of self defense, his lies to authorities, and cell phone video capturing this deadly confrontation. As Paul Bloom tells us tonight, Mew is facing decades in prison after a jury found him guilty of several charges. It is the cell phone video that defined the case <laughs> and divide the community. They were, they were attacking me from all their directions, and I, I truly, truly feared for my life. It also sparked a debate over the limits of self defense. Nikolai was not in fear, he snapped. And left everyone asking. What if Nikolai Mew had just walked away? Judge, the defense calls Nick Mew. Mr. Mew, uh, please stand. Raise your right hand. The clerk will administer the oath. In riveting testimony, the defendant took the stand at his April trial and continued to justify his actions and his fears. I stood my ground. I stayed in place. You never backed up one step, did you? No. You had your knife out and you were prepared to use it. To defend myself. But prosecutors exposed a series of lies Miyu told authorities in the aftermath of the deadly encounter. What do you think was happening at that time? They were, they were fighting me. They, they pointed the knife at me. They pointed the knife at me. Both boys pointed the knife at me. It took the jury less than seven hours. Can you please hand the verdict forms to the bailiff? To reach unanimous verdicts on half a dozen charges. Guilty first degree reckless homicide for the death of Stillwater teenager Isaac Schumann. Guilty, four counts, first degree recklessly endangering safety for those who survived their stab wounds. Question, did Mr. Mew commit the crime while using a dangerous weapon? Answer, yes. And finally, guilty, battery for slugging Madison Cohen, a flashpoint that ignited the escalating violence on the Apple River that hot July afternoon. I feel that justice was served. I spoke to a juror by phone afterwards. He asked to remain anonymous. I mean, it's not like anybody was had a fence behind him or were holding him there. He could have went, even if it was the wrong direction, he could have walked away. On Wednesday, Judge Michael Waterman will sentence me you for his actions that day. Not walking away, lying, and ultimately killing Schumann. It's been 21 months we've been waiting for justice for Isaac Michael Schumann. And we got it today. Miu faces decades behind bars, but with no sentencing guidelines in Wisconsin, Judge Waterman has full discretion. In many ways, self-defense is a community standard, and it's very dependent upon which group of 12 people within the community you ask. Miu's defense attorney, Aaron Nelson, hoping for some humanity for the now 54-year-old. But we're talking about 30 seconds in this man's life that he didn't set this up. He didn't want to be in that spot. He didn't try to be in that spot. He was in that spot. He did the best that he could. He's now been convicted of a crime for what he did. But that 30 seconds shouldn't just mean he dies in prison. But I'm worried he might. Nikolai Miu's sentencing is scheduled for 8.30 Wednesday morning. I'll be hosting a live stream of those proceedings across our Fox 9 digital platforms that will include legal arguments from the two sides as well as victim impact statements. Miu has been locked up in a Hudson jail since his arrest two years ago now. Next stop for him, prison. Just how long Judge Waterman gets the final say. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. And tomorrow we will have special extended coverage of Mew's sentencing. Fox 9's Bill Keller and Karen Scullin will be at the sentencing. And Paul Bloom will be hosting a special here in our studios starting at 8.15 tomorrow morning on Fox9.com, our YouTube channel, and our mobile app.